much realized my lash was hanging off for the majority of that, so I apologize. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, I'm so sorry, I don't usually look like this. <laughs> I look a little bit insane right now, I'm currently in the midst of doing an eyeshadow palette review which is about the Beauty Bay Matte Bright Colour palette. So you're kind of getting a little bit of a sneak peek. If you are curious about that video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of when I upload. But yes, I'm coming to you today barefaced because I'm actually trying out a new sponge that I've seen has been taken the internet by storm, mainly because of Nikki Tutorials making a video about it and loving it. The product in question is this little sponge in this little protector right here, and it is a sponge made out of microfiber materials. I'm so intrigued because the idea of it does make sense. Microfiber doesn't really absorb product. So we are going to be trying this baby today to apply my foundation, my concealer. It also says you can use it with powder, so I might try it with that as well. You guys are too high. I need to lower you just a little bit. Bear with me one second. A lot better. Okay. By the way, guys, we have a new background. Finally, no more Christmas background. Very kind of spring, you know, blooming new beginnings. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it looks pretty. I hope you guys like it. It took me ages to put up, so... Anyway, let's get into trying this sponge. So I'm not sure where Nikki got hers from. I think it might have been Juno Co. Something like that. But I got mine off Sunday Ivy. That was the website that I saw it on. It came up on my Instagram, I think. It came pretty quickly. I think it was more of a UK-based website. I did look at Juno & Co. And it was going to cost like £7 for shipping and the sponge itself was like seven dollars and I was like fourteen dollars for a sponge I don't know if I'm gonna like uh, I'll pass <laughs> but I believe I got this for seven pound fifty or five pound I can't exactly remember but it was around that price range looking at the website now it's actually five pound on here so I must have got it for five pound god damn they have a hefty <laughs> description here. They have a lot to say about this sponge. So I'm just going to put my primer on and things and while I do that I'm going to read through the description and see what the claims are about the sponge because I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. First of its kind, meet our Big Fuzz Microfiber Sponge. Seriously, nowhere else in the country can you find this beauty. Lies. <laughs> it gives you that more natural airbrush foundation finish we can see in magazines. Exciting, isn't it? So dramatic, oh my god. Here is more. It saves you up to 50% of your makeup product and perfectly blends in everything. Unlike other makeup sponges, our Big Fuzz Microfiber is made up of microfibers. Oh my god. Say that one more time. I dare you. That give you that velvety touch. The double slanted edge also gives you more precision and reach when applying your product all over your face. You can use this wet or dry. Great, because I was wondering. When you use it wet, it's perfect for liquid foundations, concealers, and contouring. When you use it dry, it's perfect for powders, bronzers, blush, and highlight. Cruelty free, never tested on animals, latex free, and vegan. Great to know. It did come with this little egg container so you can keep it safe. So I am going to wet this because that is what, oh my gosh, that feels so weird. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I am going to wet this just because that is what I would usually do with my sponges. I just prefer the application that way. It feels so weird and fuzzy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Like it literally feels like I'm holding some kind of weird animal in my hands right now. <laughs> I'm going to quickly wet this sponge and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's definitely got more squishy after I've made it wet. The texture hasn't really changed that much though of the actual sponge itself. It's expanded a little bit and it just has a little bit more surface area to use. So we're going to zoom you in a little bit more so we can really see up close and personal. Uh, yeah, let's get on to the application. Okay, so you guys, I zoomed all in and my hair is in a freakish ponytail because I just want it out of my face. And I almost look like a bald man, which is just great and the aesthetic that I want. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try it with the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. This is in the shade F1. I've been using this quite a lot lately. This is literally all the product I have left. <laughs> I really should get a new one. We're just gonna see how this blends this out and if I get any more coverage. Let's just go on in. Just using the same amount that I usually would, so let's just blend this out. It's weird, it doesn't feel wet. By the way, look at this mirror, look how cute it is. I got this for Christmas off my partner. It's the Beauty and the Beast mirror. I mean, I'm trying to show it and not blind you and show 
all the mess at the same time. Anyway, moral of the story, it's very cute and I love it. So I'm definitely getting coverage, honey. But the product also isn't spreading as far as it usually would. It just kind of has blended out though and it's all down here. My face doesn't feel heavy, but I just don't know where all that product went if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more product up to here and we are going to blend out the rest of the face as well. This claims that it, you're gonna have to use less product but I just don't feel like it's spreading product the same way as a very wet sponge and I don't really see a difference in the finish either. Why is this such a workout? I'm gonna wet this a little more because I feel like it's just dried out. Hoping this is gonna help with the product. Again, this just doesn't really hold moisture, so I don't feel like the blending process is any easier to my normal sponge. Mm, kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. I really wanted this to be a magical sponge, but uh, at the moment it's not. I'm having to like really push it around my skin. Maybe it's because of the type of foundation I went for. My normal sponge has no issue with this foundation. Let me just see if I can use what's on the sponge by here. On my forehead. No, none of this product is coming off, so I'm gonna have to go in with more foundation. Something weird is happening by here. I'm getting separation from my foundation. That never happens with this. What the heck? Mm. Okay, so far I am not feeling this sponge. Um, I may try a different foundation on top. I'm gonna go ahead and try my Revolution Pro Drop Foundation over top. I'm not gonna add a lot to this because obviously I don't want to be cake face, but I just wanna a different consistency and see if it's any better with like a liquidy kind of foundation. Also see if I can fix some of the patchiness that's going on here. Okay this is blended out a lot better and this does seem to be going a lot further so maybe it was just the fact that I've used a cream with it even though it said it could deal with creams. And I am finding I can use some of the excess over the rest of my skin. I love the glow this foundation gives your skin like look at that. Oh my gosh. So definitely with more liquid products, I feel like this is better for cream. Uh, I don't feel like it works well with at all. Let's go in with concealer. I'm going to use my Fenty one and I'm going to try and use a little less product. So I've just kind of put it on the outer edge here and see if we can get better coverage with this sponge. And by the way, guys, I have done a review on this. I'll leave it in the little eye over here. If I remember to do so. That is blended my concealer out like flawlessly. I have high hopes for this. Wow. I quite like the way that's blended that out. Obviously it didn't add as much to the inner corner but it's blended it in really evenly and the coverage is actually pretty good. I still have dark circles. I had that when I tried the concealer anyway, but gosh dang, I really like the way that's applied. It's a really smooth finish. I'm gonna add just a little bit more where I need it, so right by here. And then I'm gonna do this eye as well. I feel like I'm using less product, but not a noticeable amount, if that makes any sense. Like I'm not particularly being cautious. I'm just gonna go in by here now and I'm blending it up slowly. I do feel like this is blending my concealer very well. I love the way my under eyes look with this sponge. I don't know what it's done. It's just created such a nice finish. I'm just gonna lightly highlight the face with my concealer as well. Alright, because it said it was going to be good with cream contour, I am going to use a bit of cream contour as well. I'm going to use the CYO contour stick and this is in the fair shade I believe, but I hope so. We just going to go in a little bit. I don't go in too much, but a substantial amount. Let's just quickly blend this side first of all so I can show the difference. And I'm just using the same side that has the foundation on, I just find it's easier to blend when you do that. I really like this contour stick by CYO. I just find it adds a nice amount of colour and it also stays put. Like, can you see that? It looks really good. Colour is really good for my skin tone. That blended that out like a dream on my foundation. It hasn't picked up anything. Snatch this jawline a little bit. Oh god, I did put a lot of that on. 
I did not know I was inspired by drag today. Oh my gosh, I look ridiculous. Okay, let's just blend this out a lot. Blended that out nicely as well. And this is pretty good for cream contour, just not my foundation. Trying to get rid of my double chin right here. Mmm, didn't work. Now I just look like I've got a, like a five o'clock shadow. Great. <laughs> Do I dare to try to contour my nose? I guess I will for the video. <laughs> I contour my nose weirdly because my nose is a weird shape. So I tried to make it more straight down the middle by doing it this way. It looks a bit insane, but hopefully it'll look okay in the end. <laughs> it looks so funny when I blend out my under nose because I kind of do this. I don't know why. I feel like I look like one of the Sanderson sisters when I do it. So I don't like to move my sponge around a lot when I do this. I usually just let my sponge absorb the majority of the product, which in turn helps blend it away. Obviously, I don't feel like this one is really gonna do that, but it's doing an okay job, actually. That has blended out my nose contour really well. And the product hasn't lifted at all. I find that a lot on my nose when I go to blend concealer, contour or everything like that on my nose I find that the product lifts and it's the most annoying thing in the world with this it's actually stuck and stayed on my nose like I'm actually very very shocked and pleasantly surprised okay and finally for powder I'm gonna use my normal collection RCMA concoction just kind of slide it around in there okay this picked it up weirdly but it's on there I'm gonna go ahead and pat out any creases from the concealer and I'm gonna see how this sets my under eye I like to go from the outside in just because I feel like that sets it better I don't know if that made much of a difference to be honest it hasn't really added any like coverage or anything set it as you know my normal sponge would I'm gonna actually use my Fenty powder on the rest of my face I didn't say this in the Fenty video, but this really smells good. <laughs> this powder, I don't know what to put in it, but oh, it smells amazing. Okay, so that is all my base makeup kind of done. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my face, zoom you guys out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have finished up my face. I've actually been filming a different video. I wanted to discuss my final thoughts on this sponge. As you can see, even though it's expanded, it still fits in this little case. Overall, I feel like this sponge isn't that much different to a normal sponge. Yes, it may not absorb as much product, but I still have a lot of product like left over on the actual sponge itself. It blended out more of the liquidy products fine and the cream contour was fine, but I think that's because I had like a dewy foundation underneath. As far as the actual foundation application, Obviously you saw I was using the stick foundation and it really didn't work well with that. It was very stiff and it just wouldn't move the product. It blended out the edges but the product wasn't dispersed evenly. It was just kind of sitting in one spot which I really didn't like. For concealer I would use it again. Definitely I love the way it blended everything in. And also for the cream contour I feel like that blended in really well as well and it was really effortless. As far as powders go I didn't really notice that much of a difference from using my normal sponge to this one. I didn't notice any other kind of smoothness. But yeah, overall this sponge didn't really do the wonder that I thought it was going to. The way that people spoke about it said it was like revolutionary beauty and you know, it just, it was alright. <laughs> I feel like the idea and concept is better than the actual execution. That's just my personal opinion, so don't come for me. <laughs> and obviously I've tried this wet. Sure, it made it more squishy, but the actual microfiber when you're using it, it didn't make a difference to that at all. It just kind of expanded the actual sponge on the inside. I doubt using this dry would really make a difference to the actual outcome. I don't know, I'll probably still use it for my concealer and more liquidy products and I'm gonna see if I can make it work and if it makes a big reduction in my product usage because as I said, I've still got a lot of product on the actual sponge, but yeah. That is all I have to say. All right guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a little thumbs up on the video, that really helps me out to know exactly what you guys are wanting, what you guys are liking. Also, if you like the new background, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up because that would really mean a lot because it took me a while to do. 
okay don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join this little family we've started and hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified of when i upload anyway guys i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you're having a wonderful day evening afternoon bath whatever you're doing and yeah that is it from me i hope you tune in for the next one till then bye guys so you're kind of getting a little sneak peek so you kind of get an Hey, do my hair's flat. Oh my god, straightening my hair was the worst bloody idea ever. But yeah, it's so cute. Sorry, blinding you. Blind, blinding everyone. Just stop, Carrie, I'll stop. <laughs> it smells good, but I don't want to inhale it, okay? I wanted to discuss, I wanted to uh, 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 case, which is fine. I just realized my lash was hanging off for the majority of that, so I apologize. <laughs>